Hey everyone, it's William from the Geeks for the Win. Um, I, we're going to be do, or I'm going to be doing another Android app review. This time it's going to be a bit shorter, not going to be as long as the other ones. And let me know whether you like the shorter ones or the longer in-depth in, in ones. Um, this app is the SanDisk Memory Zone app, which is a great app that I use that... I've tried tweeting out to people about, but I guess hopefully this will this will um, spread the word on it. It's a free app in the Android or in the Google Play Store, and not only is it a f file management app for for your um, your phone, your S SD card, um, but it also you can also sync your uh, cloud storage accounts like your box, box.net, SkyDrive, Google Docs, Dropbox, and then I, I, those are the ones I have. But if you click online storage, you can see Facebook, SugarSync, and Picasa are extra or other ones. Um, real quick, unfortunately, uh, you cannot add a secondary, you know, a, a different account of the same you know like a different Dropbox or different box.net or anything like that that's a bummer because we the one I have for Dropbox is the geeks for the win it's Dropbox so we're able to share things among each other and I have a personal one but I can't use the personal one so or I can't use two so that's something that sucks right there um Let's see, if we go to, if we press this arrow next to internal memory, we can see a little bar graph. 54% free, 16 or 16.13 gigs free, you know, shows you how much music and all that in the bar graph, and then it says 899 music, 518 photos, 53 videos, 17 docs, 130 apps. 2,709 other files. So that's kind of a cool, you know, breakdown of, I wonder how much music I have, or how many photos do I have? Um, or you can just click and see music, if you want to go and select one, uh, photos, videos, documents, apps, so... And if you click that little question mark, it just tells you, you know, like, you know, click to add online services or click to backup or see details or, you know, stuff like that. Simple, you know, stuff that you probably already know about. Um, let's see, let's go to the Dropbox. These are, oops, scanning, scanning, scanning. A quick little scan, you know, music, photos, Let's you can click on one and view them. That's our logo for the Geeks for the Wind podcast, which you can find on iTunes, Stitcher, Zoom, or thegeeksftw.com. Shameful plug, sorry people, but, and I recommend, you can find, going to the same places as well, our Netflix recommendation podcast. No videos, no docs. Oh, uh, one doc. Let's see if it opens up. Oh, action required. Install PDF render library is free. Uh, sure, why not? If it's free. Processing. Anyways, this app is totally free. It's on the Google Play Store. It's it's a great app. I, I like it. You don't have to... It minimizes having a, you know, file management app, a Dropbox app. Box.net doesn't have an, a mobile app, so that's something good there. SkyDrive, I don't think, has one. Or it, having the Google Docs app. So it minimizes certain apps, plus it allows you to have access to, you know, like Box.net that doesn't have a, you know mobile app and I don't think SkyDrive has an Android app so that's you know that's very very useful there 
Eh, error. Oh well. But anyways, I guess you can click on it, file, you can delete, you can, I guess, that's, that's all you can do really is just, as far as, um, you can delete or you can view, this is opening, I don't know why it's taking so long to open, you can view and then from there you can set as and edit and stuff like that, um, Real quick, let's go to the backup and restore. Um, you go to menu, settings, backup settings. You know, you can choose which ones you box, SkyDrive, Dropbox. Those are the pure cloud storage. So, box.net. What to back up? It's loading. Um contacts let's back up photos let's not back up music or videos and let's back up documents so continue you can how often do you want to back up so you can have it automatically back up like once a week continue and continue in background so that's a cool thing you can set up to you know back up automatically so if something happens to your phone or if it gets stolen or whatever you still have all the stuff that was on your phone like all the pictures and stuff so that's pretty cool I do like that um let's see let's go back to settings um you know you can change your password if it's for you know if you have to change your password because it's you know your you change it on the other on Dropbox's end and stuff like that. Um, backup data storage usage only on Wi-Fi, or you can change it to Wi-Fi and cellular. Basically, it's a great app. I really enjoy it. I would highly recommend you check this out. If you have an Android device, it might be for iOS. I don't know, but either way, it's it's free for Android. So just check it out on the Google Play Store. And be sure, if you like this video, to thumbs up it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any suggestions for any other Android app reviews or Android game reviews or any other type of video you would like to see on this site at all, or on our page at all, comment us, let us know, and so we you know we're trying to do more stuff we're trying to reach out and just do more than a podcast because you know so far we've just been a podcast and a small little site so we're trying to jump into the youtube um pool so to speak but let us know people and thank you for viewing this video